One of the things that Storyboard Pro does that you can't find in any other program is that you can have dialogue and notes and all kinds of other information that you can type in or cut and paste in that will travel with the panel no matter where you rearrange the panels or move them and so it's uh, incredibly convenient and I particularly like being able to type in the dialogue and the notes rather than doing it by hand because uh, it saves a lot of wear and tear on my wrist. Going to the selection of tabs that you have on your interface, the one that's called panel gives you the opportunity to type in things like dialogue, action notes or descriptions, uh, slugging, and general notes. And these can be moved to give you more or less room. They can also be rearranged. If you want action notes to come first, you can drag it upwards and now action notes comes before dialogue. So it's very customizable. With these text fields, you can just simply enter in text with your typewriter. So here the boy is sitting on the couch watching TV. You can also import text from a document by clicking inside the field you want, selecting this little button and go to import caption and then find a document on your computer, select it and it has already imported everything that I had in that RTF document. If you need to expand the box that you're working on to see it better, you can hit this middle tab and it'll make it a little bit bigger. And now I can select this text and use the button that's on the left, which is your like a rich text editor so that you can choose which font that you want to use. And you could choose the font size as well as bolding and italics and all those other things. And then to return this box to its normal size, I'll just tap on it one more time to shrink it down completely. And then one more time to have it reappear as it used to. If there's one of these caption boxes that you just simply don't need, you can get rid of it by tapping on that dialog box and hit delete caption. And you'll get a message coming up that says, are you sure you want to do this? Because it will delete it through the entire project. So you just press yes. And now that caption will not appear any place. And so if you don't use something like a slugging caption, and you can eliminate it and it won't be getting in your way. And if you want to add a new, an extra caption, you can press add caption. You can give it a name called new caption. In this case, I'll press OK. And that new caption is going to show up in every scene and on every panel, whatever it takes to customize it the way that you want it to be. You can also rename any one of these caption boxes by hitting that same dialog box. Type rename caption and you could give it a name like Charles, for example, or anything on earth that you want to give it. And that box will appear on every scene and in every panel. Another very nice new option is the ability to add a special sketch panel to your uh, captions so that you can sketch little notes or handwrite your captions if you choose to. The way to add that is go to that same dialog box, tap Add Sketch. You can name it Sketch or anything else you want. And now in that sketch panel, which is indicated with a little brush, you can now draw inside this panel, which can sometimes be helpful if you like to handwrite dialog or if you want to do things like add little extra sketches or extra eye movements or just about anything that you want. And this sketch panel will show up along with your captions on the printed pages when the storyboard is finished.